Hello Hornets, Ed Mills, your VP of Student Affairs here. I want to talk to you a little bit about spring registration. So this past Monday, the 8th of November, all registration appointments became visible on your student center. Now if you're a, a new student and you haven't seen that before, you would log into your student center and you're going to see a registration appointment that's going to be on your right. And about a week ago, the registrar's office sent out an email to all students that includes a little video about how to register, what to look for on your student center. So take a look for that video. It'll go through almost everything that I'm going to tell you in, in this video today. Two things that are important about registration for the spring. The first is that we're moving towards bringing about 70% of the classes back to in-person instruction. So while we've had a lot of online classes this fall, obviously we were online last year, this spring we're going to take a big leap forward into bringing classes back in person. So when you're looking at your schedule, you might find that there's a lot fewer online classes, a lot more classes in person. Now for many of you, I know that that means you're going to have to make some decisions about where you want to live. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to do this video to give you a heads up that if you haven't thought about moving back to the Sacramento area or close to the Sac State campus, that might be a reality for you this spring. It's going to be a little more difficult to have an all online schedule. Not impossible, but more difficult. The second thing that I wanted you to really think and, and look at are holds on your account. You may have to do items on your student center. You may have holds on your account. This is the time to go and look and to try to adjust whatever you need to do, turn in forms, pay a bill, pay a, a library fine or a parking ticket, whatever might be out there that could stop you from registering. The experience I don't want you to have is that when your registration appointment comes up and you have everything in your shopping cart and you're ready to go, you try to register and that's when you realize you have a hold on your account and now you're trying to catch up Go ahead and take care of it now. Take care of it in advance of your registration appointment. You'll thank yourself. So take a look at the classes. Think about where you're going to live, how you're going to construct your schedule for spring. Look at your holds and to-do items. You'll be ready. All right? Stingers up.